I'm Kevin Williams and I'm on a mission to explain why science matters to motorcyclists via my 60 second science short video series. When police investigate road traffic crashes one of the most common conclusions they draw is that speed, specifically riding or driving too fast for the conditions, plays a significant role in many incidents. But as I've said many times clearly the driver or rider wasn't too fast for the conditions up to the point of the crash. If they had have been they would have crashed earlier so quite clearly something changed at the point things went pear-shaped. What matters was not the speed but our ability to interact safely with the riding environment. Here are the three main ways our response can go wrong. Firstly the change could be the result of environmental factors which include sudden changes to the road surface, hitting mud, loose gravel or an icy patch, the weather, running into thick fog or torrential rain, or being caught by a sudden gust of wind, the view, unexpected visual obstruction by a vision blocker or being dazzled by bright lights. Second, it could be a human failure in one of the stages of information processing. Late perception or detection error, the cognitive error of failing to look at the area where the hazard exists, or a perception error when we look but fail to see. Comprehension error, we fail to diagnose what we're actually seeing correctly, such as when we see but misjudge the speed and distance of a vehicle. Decision error. We select the wrong response, such as when we break when a bend tightens and we should have added more lean. Execution or reaction error. These are skill-based control errors, such as braking on an icy surface. Thirdly, our manoeuvre could go wrong. Ineffective braking or over-braking, ineffective steering or swerving, freezing and target fixation, Having said all that, slowing down almost always helps because it gives us more time to process what's happening and reduces the kinetic forces we have to overcome when we do take action. 